Good morning or good afternoon. Today we'll be recording a video on quiz at 723. Please make sure you write your last name, comma, your first name, today's date, and that you circle your class color. Number one says find the volume and surface area of the object. I went ahead and put the most difficult example on Monday number one. So hopefully all the other number ones of the week are uh, just a little bit more manageable. Here we have a compound three-dimensional figure. We have a rectangular prism and then we have... It doesn't seem like it is, but based on the measurements, this is supposed to supposed to be a cube because the measurements are three by three by three. Let's tackle the uh, rectangular prism first. So I want to find the volume, and the volume is just the length times the height and times the width. So we have th 10 times 3 times 3, and if you do that correctly, you'll get 90. So the volume of the, bo of the rectangular base is 90. Now, the volume of the cube, which is on top, is also 3 times 3 times 3, and that's going to be 27. So the total volume is 90 plus 27, which is 117. So the three-dimensional object, is the volume is 117. So when we think of surface area, we think of wrapping a gift. So it's like if we were wrapping this box that had two parts to it. So I'm going to highlight the first object, the sides in yellow. So we have the square, which is 3 times 3, which is 9. And then we have another square in the back over there. So we have two of those, right? So I'm going to just divide my sections up. Oops. I'm going to divide my sections up so that we know what we're dealing with first. So I'm going to deal with the cube, the little, the little object first on the side, and I'm going to write it in... I'm going to write it in uh, blue. So we have this space right here, which is 9, and we have two of those spaces. So we have two squares on the top that have a volume or that have an area of 9. Then we have four rectangles, but you have to take into account that you're not wrapping one of those four rectangles because one of those four rectangles is on the bottom, and that's being covered. So you're not going to wrap that with wrapping paper. You're only going to wrap the top the right, and then the left, which is on the side over here, right? So you have three sides that are three by three, which three times three is nine. So technically, you're only covering five sides of that object, not six, because the sixth side of that cube is covered by the base of the bottom. So we have two times nine, or you could just do five times nine. Five times nine is 45. So 45 is the surface area, millimeters cubed. That's the surface area of the top. Now we're trying to, to find the surface area of the bottom object. And the bottom object I'm going to do in purple, and I'm going to do it in green so that you can see the difference. So here you have to take into account um, this, this uh, length, which is 3 by 10. And coincidentally, the back side over there is also 3 by 10, and then the bottom is also 3 by 10. So you have three rectangles. Oops. You have three rectangles that are 3 by 10. And then you have the, the top right here. I'm going to shade it in green. You have this top. This isn't 10 by 3. This is actually 3 by 10 minus 3, which is 7. So this length right here is 7. It's not 10. So 7 times 3 is the other rectangle. And then we have one more, one more space. We have this space right here that I'm shading in green. We have 3 by 3, and we have two of those. So 3 by 3, we have two of those. Now, just to make sure you didn't miss any sides, you have six sides accounted for in this object. You have the top, which we wrote. And then we have the three purple rectangles, which we have right here. And then we have the two sides, which we have right here. So we just accounted for all six sides. Technically, that should be a one right there. So now let's multiply it out. We have 3 times 10, which is 30. 30 times 3 is 90. Here we have 7 times 3, which is 21. 21 times 1 is just 21. And then we have 3 times 3, which is 9. 9 times 2 is 18. Now, if you add those three quantities together, you get 129 millimeters cubed. 
and the surface area would be 129 millimeters cubed plus 45 millimeters, millimeters cubed. So I'm going to add it right here. So we have 174 millimeters cubed. That is the surface area. So again, I chose the very complicated example. Chose the hardest question I could possibly find in the uh, chapter, the book. And I put it on Monday number one. If we can do this example, we can do the ones in the exercises below. Moving on to number two. It says, find the area and the circumference of a circle. You should have uh, homework exercises like this. So remember the formulas. We have um, circumference equals pi times the diameter. You can also think of um, this little phrase. You don't have to say it here and say it every time, but it's a way to remember. It's cherry pie is disgusting or cherry pie is delicious, whatever you prefer. I'm not arguing about it, <clears throat> Amari. Um, and then area... is pi times r squared. And remember that pi times r squared is pi times r times r. It's not r times 2. It's r times r. Those are very different. So I will continue the phrase just so to help us remember. Cherry pie is delicious. Apple pies are 2. Now this phrase can also confuse you. So if it, if it helps you, make sure you know it. You learn it the right way. All right, so let's see. The area of the circle is area equals pi times r times r. And they gave us our radius, which is 4 times 4. 4 times 4 is 16. So we now have 16 times pi. So we can do that on the side. 3.14 times 16. You can compute that. Maybe you're faster than me. Go ahead and try to compute that. All right, so if you did it correctly, you found that the area of this circle is approximately 50.24. Now let's try the circumference. The circumference I will do in purple. So circumference is equal to pi times the diameter. They did not give us the diameter, but we can find the diameter. Just extend the radius and add two radii together to get you the diameter. So the diameter in this case would be 4 plus 4, which is 8. So now we can compute... Circumference is equal to 3.14 times 8. And go ahead and try to compute that. See if you're faster than me. So the circumference is approximately 25.12. 25.12. All right, moving on. This is my favorite question, I think, on this quizette, is the finding the area of a trapezoid. I think you guys will enjoy it as well. So when you are finding the area of the trapezoid, what you do is that you, I'll just give you the formula. Area equals one half times um, the height times base one plus base two. So let's say that this is base 1, let's say that this is base 2, and then this is the height. So we have the area equals to 1 half times, times 8 times the base 1, which is 9, plus 4. 9 plus 4 is 13. 13 times 8 times 1 half. Now, I can do 1 half times 8, which is 4, times 13. And some of you can do that in your head, but I cannot. So the area is 52 
square miles. And I'm done. So for the area of a trapezoid, you just add base 1 to base 2. You multiply it, and then you divide it by 2.